just you just have to finish it. Where do you want me to look? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, 3.55.89, what a time it is, and to do that in Scotland, you must be delighted. Yeah, just over the moon, like, a bit shocked. Uh, I thought I could maybe, last year when I put down my target, I put down 3.57, and I was like, that's going to be, if I'm there by next year, that's amazing. So, to have done 55 is <laughs> just lost for words a wee bit. What needs picked up? Right. You think you said in that right. press conference uh, last morning it could, it could right. all go horribly wrong, mm. or it might go really yeah. well. I mean, I think I think it was definitely the latter. Yeah, um, Michael had told me last weekend I was going to be in the race, and me and my dad were looking at. We like to look at people's progressions, so we'd looked at um, looked at Jake Whiteman's when he was 20, and he was running about 40, 41 uh, most of the year, and then he got chucked into a, a diamond league at Glasgow. And out of nowhere, he ran 3:35. Um, so I just thought Michael's created something that I'm effectively. There wouldn't have been a, a diamond week. When when's the Commonwealth Games going to come back to Glasgow? But he's created this grassroots event that's basically giving athletes a chance to to have that um, that chance that Jake got all those years ago. So yeah, just really happy to get that opportunity and, and show what I can do in that kind of field. Now, what's your mindset like then going into a race like that when you know you're going to be up against a top quality field like that? Um, excitement to be honest, um, probably a lot less nerves. I feel like I'm most nervous when I feel like I'm the favourite, um, like the clear, clear favourite. Like last weekend at Grange, my first Scottish Champs, I was pretty nervous because I knew it was, it was up to me to, to try and win it, um, whereas tonight I didn't really think the whole race. Like I was, I was just focusing the guy in front of me. I, I didn't really look at the clock. I thought I'd, I, I didn't actually think I'd paced it very well because I got the bell. I was like, I think I've, the first lap was fast, and then we slow, slowed up. It felt, but uh, yeah, everyone was pacing it so well for me. I didn't need to think, and it ended up perfect. What are you doing? Are you going to go for Euro cross country again this winter? Or is that something you're planning? I'm. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe a secondary target. I'm, I'm not. I don't think I'm a cross country is my main thing. But I think with the way things are going, with like your threshold training, all that, like we are now all training is like 5k, 10k guys over winter. You need to really work on that endurance. It's a lot. I feel a lot less speed based nowadays. Like I don't actually feel that sharp anymore. Not as sharp as I used to maybe a few years ago when I was hammering out 200s. Um, but the strength stuff, it's just amazing. Like, you don't actually need to run that fast to run a good mile. Like, 50, if you're running at 57s, 58s, that's quick, but it's not, most people could sprint that, any decent athlete. Um, so it's just about being able to hold that pace more. Um, so yeah, if we're working that longer stuff over winter, then it's something I'd definitely like to just go and get stuck in and have a go at, yeah. What do you prefer, the sharper stuff, or are you sort of? You're obviously embracing this, this yeah, different way of. Yeah, I I like the kind of the the uh, easier training. Um, I've I've work I've been working as a cleaner this summer, so I've I've been doing like a a cleaning shift and then going to training. So you're not always feeling that fresh, um, which is good because you hold back. I think you're less likely to get injured when you're training that way. Um, so yeah, I I never train 100% anymore, and it, it does seem to work. Yeah, and with a, a jump forward like this, what you know, what do you do with this? I guess how do how do you build on it? I think you just keep doing what you've been doing before. Um, I've made I've been making jumps like this right through the age groups, just small, consistent ones. And I got asked in the press conference the other day what what's changed in the last year with your mindset stuff. I don't think anything has changed to be honest like you just you're sticking to it's, it's just basic you're just turning up to training sleeping well eating well um, and I think for me right now it's just keeping the momentum going because I know I'm in a good spell I'm coming to each race like right I can see the um, so you just need to keep that momentum going and it's all about consistency I've had a good run now without injury since I got injured after nationals in February cross country but I've been back and just taking out nothing massive, just 
solid, decent weeks and it does work. Um, so yeah, I just want to keep doing that.